Hello everyone. We are going to discuss chi-square test. Basically, chi-square test is a test where we can do the following test like test of homogeneity or the significance of population variance. The test of goodness of fit. The test significance of association between two attributes. Now question arise, if I'm talking about the first test, the test of homogeneity or the significance of population. Suppose we have one sample and what I want to do, I want to compare the sample with the population. So what we have, we have variance of sample and we have variance of population. And I want to check on the basis of this variance that variance of sample is same as variance of population or not. That means the sample is belongs to this population or not. This is called homogeneity of population variance. If we talk about the second test, that is what test of goodness of fit. Say, if I'm talking about the birth ratio, that means I'm talking about the number of baby girls and number of baby boys. The out of uh, 100 birth, say 50% must be baby boy girls and 50% must be baby boys. This actual ratio is what? One is to one. It's a theoretical. But what happened with actual? What happened? I observed 100 females who are pregnant and I found that there were 63 baby girls and uh, 37 baby boys. That means the sex ratio is 63 is to 37 is met with the population ratio or not. That is theoretical ratio or not. This is what goodness of it. Similarly, we can do another experiment also of test of goodness of it. That is, if we are going to toss a coin, for how many times? say 120 times. The chances of getting head is what? I'm talking about the chances, that means theoretical. So 60 times I will get head and the 60 times I will get tail. This is what theoretical, right? When I'm going to toss it a coin for how many times? 120 times. It is quite possible that I will get 82 times head and 38 times what tail it is quite possible right so uh, when we want to uh, compare our theoretical population with actual theoretical concept with actual or reality we can do chi-square test the third case is what the test of significance of association between two attributes i will take uh, one example if i will say uh, I have uh, some person, those, uh, some of them are vaccinated, some of them are not vaccinated. So what we can do, suppose we have, uh, 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 say, 500 person total, out of 500, what happened? 250 were vaccinated and the rest 250 were non-vaccinated. And what happened? I'm talking about COVID and that is uh, they got COVID infection and uh, some of them are non-infected, infected and non-infected with, with COVID. So I found that 320 were infected and rest of them are what 180 were what? Non-infected. So I want to know the reality is this, which is in front of us, that is in front of our observation. And I want to compare the, these two attributes that is vaccinated and non-vaccinated, that COVID vaccination is effective or not. So these are tests we can do with the help of what? Chi-square test. Now we will take some question. And on the basis of question, we are going to understand it. I will take a question from CR Kothari book. And we have the first question of the chi-square test that is what weight of 10 students as follows. So we have weight of how many students? We have weight of 10 students. And the weights are 
38 kilogram, 40 kilogram, 45, 35, 47, 43, 55, 48, 52, and 49. And we want to know, can we say that the variance of the distribution, the variance which we have, actually we have sample. We will calculate variance of sample. The variance of the distribution of the weight of all students from which the above sample 10 was drawn is equals to 20. That means I'm saying the variance of population is what? 20. And I want to check the sample. I'm talking about the sample is belongs to that population or not. So theoretically we can understand we have one population and in this population what happened? I have taken a sample. The variance of population, that is what? Standard deviation of population square. The variance of population is equal to 20 kg. That means if I'm talking about the variance of sample, if I'm talking about the variance of sample, that is also equal to 20 kg if this sample is belongs to this population. Right. So we want to check it. So what we are, we are going to do, basically we are going to test the homogeneity or we are talking about the significance of population variance. We are going to test the significance of population variance. So, uh, first of all, we will create a null hypothesis. What is our null hypothesis? Our null hypothesis is a standard deviation square of sample is equals to variance of population. It is my null hypothesis. And if it is my null hypothesis, what is my alternative hypothesis? As we discussed in previous session, okay, what is null hypothesis and what is alternative hypothesis? So on the basis of I generate this hypothesis that my null hypothesis is variance of sample is equals to variance of population. And my alternative hypothesis what? Variance of sample is not equals to variance of population. Right. So variance of uh, population is given uh, in this question. That is what 20 kg. Now we are going to uh, calculate the variance of sample. And how we will calculate the variance of sample? It is very simple. Uh, what happened? Uh, we have a number of observation. That means we have 10 students and we have their weights also. And first of all, I will calculate the average. And what does mean? That is what summation of X divided by N. So summation of X divided by N, that means total of X is what? 470. So 470 divided by 10 is equals to 47 kg. Now we will calculate the deviation. That is what X minus X bar. I will calculate the deviation. Then square of deviation. So minus nine square is 81, minus seven square is what? 49. Like this, we will calculate the square of deviation. After calculating the square of deviation, because of it is our sample, so the standard deviation of sample is equal to what? Under root of summation of x minus x bar whole square divided by n minus one. This is what a uh, formula of a standard deviation of sample. That is equals to a square root of uh, 280 divided by 10 minus 1. That is what under root of 31.11. Because of variance is equals to a square of a standard deviation. So variance is what? Variance of sample is 31.11. Now what we will do, we will apply the formula of chi-square. And the formula of chi-square is what? Chi square is equals to variance of sample divided by variance of population into n minus one. And n minus one is what? Degree of freedom. So n minus one. So we can say that chi square is equals to variance of sample is what? 31.11 divided by variance of population is 20. And we have sample of 10 students. So 10 minus one is what? Nine. Now we will solve this question. They will, we will find the value of chi-square and value of chi-square is what? 13.999. This is what the critical, uh, this is what calculated value of chi-square. So calculated value, I'm talking about 
calculated value of pi square is what? 13.999. Now I want to calculate value of chi square, but which one? Critical value. I'm talking about critical value or uh, table value. Or we can say critical. Critical value of chi square. And to find the value of uh, critical value of chi square, what we will do because of we are talking about the our level of significance is what 5%. Normally, we will take 5% level of significance and uh, the degree of freedom is what? N minus 1, that is 9. So at 5% level of significance, at 9 degree of freedom, we will find the value of chi-square. Right. So we are just moving uh, to the uh, chi-square value. Uh, that is what table value and the table value is given in this book. Uh, just a minute, I will reach over there. This is what uh, I will find the value of chi square. Uh, table one, table two, put a little t distribution. This is what chi square. Now I'm talking about that I'm talking uh, the value of uh, significance is what 5% and the degree of freedom, degree of freedom is what n minus 1. So n minus 1 that is 10 minus 1 is equals to 9. So degree of freedom is 9. So critical value is what 16.919. This is what critical value at 5% level of significance and for 9 uh, degree of freedom, then uh, I will reach to the question. That is what you can see the critical value is what? Uh, it is our calculated value and critical value is what? 16.919. 919, that means uh, 16.92. Now, uh, what happened? Because of our critical value is less than the, uh, our calculated value, well, uh, chi square, and what? Calculated value is less than chi square critical value. So, what you will do? You will accept, accept the null hypothesis. So you can read this statement also. Hence, we accept the null hypothesis. Why we calculate null hypothesis? Because of our calculated value is less than the critical value. So we will accept the null hypothesis. And what our null hypothesis is saying? That the variance of uh, population is equals to variance of sample. It's a, it's a matter of chance ki, uh, we will get a variance of uh, sample is 31.1. Uh, Otherwise, uh, this sample is belongs to uh, that population. So it is clearly uh, mentioned that we have uh, two sample. We have, uh, this is what uh, population. And this is what sample. And what happened? I'm going to take one sample from population and the variance of the population was 20 and the variance of sample is what? 31.1. The ultimately we can say, ultimately we can say ki it is a matter of chance. It is a sample fluctuation that we will get a variance of 31.1. Otherwise, the sample belongs to that population where variance is what? 20. Right. Uh, this is what this test is related to this uh, test of homogeneity or we can say significance of population of variance. Now I'm talking about the another test that is what test of goodness of fit. And what we will do in test of goodness of fit, uh, we will just come to the next point. That is, uh, I'm moving towards the next question. That is what illustration number three. What illustration number three is saying, a dice is thrown 132 times. A dice is throwing 132 times. And the following result occurs that one comes 16 times, two comes 20 times, three come 25 times, four come 14 times, five come 29 and six come 28 times. 
This is what our observation because of I throw a dice for 132 times. You can do the same experiment at your home also. What you will do, you will take a dice and you just throw the dice for 132 times. After throwing a dice for 132 times, you just note down the observation, what you will get. Right. So uh, in this question, we found that one comes 16 times, two come uh, 20 times, three come 25 times, four comes 14 times, five come nine, uh, 29 times, and six come 28 times. But uh, if we talk about the theoretically, if, going, if we are going to throw a dice, if I'm talking about that I will get one, the chance of getting one is what? One by six. This is what probability. When we are going to multiply probability with total number, we will get the expected value or expected number. So 132 times I thrown a dice and the chances of getting one is one by six. And how many times? 132 times I will throw it. The expected value is what? 22. The chances of getting one is only 22. If I'm talking about what is the chance of getting two? That is again one by six. This is a probability of getting uh, two is what? In case of a dice, one by six. And I'm going to throw it out for 132 times. So what is the expected value? 22. So as you can say, this is what our observed frequencies, our observed values, which we observe. And this is what a theoretical frequency or expected frequency, right? So to get uh, the uh, answer of it, uh, to get that our dice is biased or not, what we will do, uh, we will uh, calculate observe minus expected. The process is what? Observe minus expected. Then we will do observe minus expected whole square. So observe is 16. 16 minus 22 is what? Minus 6. And whole square of minus 6 is what? 36. Then observe minus expected whole square divided by expected, that is 22. So 36 divided by 22. Similarly, you will calculate uh, this term that is observe minus expected whole square divided by expected for all numbers. Then you will do sum of it. You will calculate it. Because of the formula of chi square is equals to, in this case, when I'm talking about goodness of fit, the formula is what? Summation of observe minus expected whole square divided by expected. So this is the formula, right? And you just put the value in this formula, that is total of it, you will find the value of chi square. As you can see, the value of chi square is what? Nine. This is what your calculated value. Again, this is a calculated value, right? Which you have calculated. So chi square calculated is what? Nine. Now we are going to compare my calculated value with critical value. And chi square critical value. That means table value. And we will find the table value from the table. And I will take table value from this uh, question only. The table value is what? 11.071. This is what critical value or table value. Again, you can see that your calculated value is less than what? Critical value. Your calculated value is what? Less than the critical value. That means you will accept the null hypothesis. And what is your null hypothesis? That your dice is what? Unbiased. Your dice is what? Unbiased. It's a matter of chance that you will, uh, you're not getting the equal response, right? But overall, you can say your dice is what? Unbiased. If your calculated value is more than critical value, in that case, definitely you will say that the dice is what? Biased, right? And I will take one more